You know, you ever hear of steampunk? Yeah, I like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, there's a joke Thank for you. you. I wouldn't call myself a fan of steampunk, but I will say it's the healthiest way to prepare punk. <laughs> <laughs> I notice on talk shows when they panic, they change the set. Yeah, but after the, <laughs> after the very first episode, <laughs> usually no. <laughs> but I, I did Pat Sajak show. Yeah. This yeah. was years ago. Yeah. Every time I went, I'd walk through the curtain to be a different thing. Yeah. And then, you know, first it was a traditional set. Next time it's a round table. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, so, and and there'd be like thirty people in the audience. He couldn't even draw at the end of the time a full. But he was a great man, Pat Sajak, and yeah. I loved him. They say the world's a smaller place than it used to be, but I think that's an optical illusion based on me becoming a big fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get uh, him and uh, also big fat Bruce Valanche. You know that guy? Yeah, it's my trainer. <laughs> <laughs> but I well, listen to this. Catherine Zeta Jones admitted she is bipolar half the time. She's deliriously happy, and the other time she has to suck an old man's cock. <laughs> That's dirty. Come on, man. What is a fucking podcast anyway? It's uh, well, it's it's originally it was I think a broadcast that was uh, initially intended to to be downloaded on a people's iPod. So it's oh, call it a podcast. A podcast. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. My favorite George Miller joke. I played a great club here in the city. Catch a rising star. Boy, that's a good club. But across the street, they have a tough club. Have you been there? Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> you know, I was raised Catholic, and when people find out, they always assume there was some creepy priest involved, you know. But they never suspect the deacon. If I was great in constellations. Do, wanna, well, will you laugh if he does one? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a good one. Okay. If I were grading constellations, my review and description for Orion's belt would be just three stars. I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. There you go. I think, I think this is perfect for Tom Green. Tom Green just reading ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I read a story. A 17-year-old kid who stole a plane, crashed it, and survived. Why don't we make the whole plane out of that kid? <laughs> <laughs> that seems logical, it right? That makes sense, yeah. right? There you go. Adam Egan. <laughs> I didn't ban. I didn't Look ban. Who, well, I didn't, who banned me? I think it was Howard. Yeah. Howard. But you're part of the same regime. No. All right. Well, technically, yeah. But Howard was an old no, man. Yeah, yeah. Like Kim Jong Un, right? Has a soldier, but like. If sure. It, yeah. I'm just following orders. That's yeah. Right. But you're part of the thing. I. All right. I admit that. All right. You and what, what, did, what did I do? You know who you, else said they were just following orders? Hitler. Well, <laughs> Stalin was just like that. Yeah. This. This administration is cutting back drastically on military spending, but doesn't think our defense capabilities will be compromised? How so? I'll tell you how so. Groupons. <laughs> Remember Groupons? Yeah, absolutely. Remember Groupons. I think that if Kim Kardashian yeah. were to go to Vegas, yeah. she could do Caratops act and take things out of her ass. That's what Nadal uh, reminded me of. That's a pretty solid idea. Yeah, Wait, I don't understand that. I don't either, but well, I just you know, I respect that idea. Well, you know, out of a trunk. Yeah, oh, I see. I she see. could take it out. Am I going to have to explain everything to you? <laughs> no, you, to the folks, really explain oh, who no, Kim oh, Kardashian oh, is. Ahead. Never mind. Because I think the joke was predicated on knowing that she has a big ass. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> People don't know that. Young people don't, no. Everybody knows. Have you seen the pictures of her? Yeah, two weeks ago. Okay. You showed him to me. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, she's gained a lot of weight. You gained she gained weight. a lot of weight. So yeah, did you. So I gained guy. 45 pounds. I was going to say something. And what they don't tell you about crack is, God damn, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> where, where in your neighborhood there's a crack? Yeah, it's huge crack so You can just problem. step out the front door now and there's a crack readily available now? Well, I sell it. Yeah. But so, But I... 
<laughs> I'm using so much of it now. Yeah. But I'm still getting fat. Yeah. Well, I don't quite un How is that understand. even possible? I don't know. I was going to ask you that. I have to that. talk to a gastroenterologist. You, you don't have any now, do you? Any, uh, any crack now? Oh, or? no, I don't know. Yeah, well, after it you all. do it for a while, you do not share. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that one the hard way. You go, way. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> but meanwhile, you're not out, yeah. and you do everyone else's crack with them. Yeah. And then you sneak off into the bathroom and do your own crack. Right. Yeah, just good idea. Yeah. That's uh, the... <laughs> Morphine's good too. There's one called Crocodile. Have you ever heard of Crocodile? No, I'm, I haven't. Dance like no one is watching, sing like no one is listening, love like you've never been hurt, and fuck like a goddamn retard. <laughs> I said the word retard. Percy is your dad? Yeah. I didn't I'd, remember that. I'd never heard anyone else's wow. name Percy. Any remember person when you came and visited life. the set of uh, Andy of uh, Man on the Moon? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and, I, and, I was also in the film. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I like to put it. <laughs> in stock market news this week, April's three biggest losers were Cantab Pharmaceuticals, Champion Enterprises and uh, Crapco, which manufactures crap. <laughs> and also crap related items. Most recently, uh, Mariah Carey's Christmas album. They were... <laughs> How old is this guy? I, I don't know. I think he's in his mid 20s, maybe? Yeah, damn. Um, and most of these, I think, I feel these rich kids are unknown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's known because of that movie. Yeah. But, uh, but I think most of them. I think that these super billionaire guys keep themselves unknown so we don't find out and go to their house. Oh, yeah. Don't he's probably not the real, you know, he's just sort of like the, you know, there's, there's, there's much bigger billionaires. You think there's bigger days. guys? Uh, I think there's, they're, yeah, they're living on an island somewhere. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They're just running everything. Because when you hear about it, how much money the richest guys have, yeah. nobody, I mean, I'm in, I know Sandler, he doesn't have nearly that much money. You yeah. know what I mean? And he's the richest guy, and he's super rich. Yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if you were, if you had, you know, you probably don't want to make a big show. If you're, no. Yeah, they probably have the cure for cancer. They're probably selling all the, you know, all the drugs that we're all taking, all the drugs. They're selling all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. They got all the cures. They're living on an island. Oh, yeah. some of them are well, those are the motherfuckers that fucking introduced crack into my neighborhood last month. <laughs> you have a crack problem? Or well, now I do because really? those fuckers, those fuckers introduced crack into the neighborhood. <laughs> You know, I was raised Catholic, and when people find out, they always assume there was some creepy priest involved, you know. Mm -hmm. But they never suspect the deacon. Still booking the store. You're booking the comedy store? Yeah. Where you can buy comedy. It's not that kind of store. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't do a lot of... I don't like to sell my comedy. It, again, it's not an actual store. That's just the name. It's, a, it's a, just a comedy club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, how about this? College freshman Scott Damaro, Larry, set a new world record by using his head to bust 142 eggs, and he now officially holds a place in the Guinness Book of fucking retards. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's nothing cooler than being a lone wolf, except at wolf picnics when you don't have a partner for the wolf wheelbarrow races. <laughs> what do you call a gay boxer? Huh? What do you call a gay boxer? No McDonald. No. <laughs> 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 now, do you know how to be Ed McMahon during this? Well, you have to read okay. the, the, I have to, I... Mount Baldy. <laughs> Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. Mount, ba Mount Baldy. Yeah, Mount Baldy. <laughs> what did you and Brenner's wife do on their wedding night? <laughs> Yesterday was Bring Your Daughter to Work Day, which was awkward for Adam Egit. Do you know how hard it is to fuck a horror with her kid on the edge of the bed playing Nintendo? I mean, that is a hard job. Fatal crashes. Please note that the percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
for those of you hissing at that joke, it should be uh, noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do. Right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> you ever read a book? Oh, you read the communist thing. Yeah, I read the Marxist manifesto. Who was the better man? Okay. Dr. Martin Luther King? Mm-hmm. Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> the Blue Man Group has been forced by the federal government to hire an orange man and a purple woman. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. <laughs> Barbara Walters announced that she's retiring from The View. Well, actually, she announced it five years ago, but no one could hear her over those yammering bitches. <laughs> hey, how about this one? They say pimping ain't easy, Andy. <laughs> But what they won't tell you, it is much, much more difficult being a prostitute. <laughs> Pimping is pretty easy. Las Vegas is now home to a 550 foot tall Ferris wheel. Also drawing thousands to Las Vegas, whores. <laughs> you know the funniest part of doing an office conga line? <laughs> when you look back and realize you're doing it alone and you're not in an office, you're in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> Deep throat porn legend Harry Reeves. Yeah, 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 he died, but how you are they going to close that, that casket? I mean, because. No, the Swiss think I hate them. It's great. Thanks. This one says Remember the old days when tweeting meant stabbing a hooker? <laughs> Bob well, Bob. this Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. Oh, when I watch. <laughs> Oh, I like this. I like the theme that we're that this one has. A man in Taiwan reportedly cut off his own penis to win an argument with his wife. That reminds me of that episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, where Raymond forgot Deborah's birthday and had to cut his own cock off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they had a big black mass uh, devil worship this week, apparently. But I skipped it because I believe you can be just as close to Satan on a golf course as in some stuffy old satanic church. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, my girlfriend's mad at me right now. Last night when we were having sex, I yelled the name of her ex-boyfriend. Nice fellow. <laughs> my favorite George Miller joke. I played a great club here in the city. Catch a rising star. Boy, that's a good club. But across the street, they have a tough club. Have you been there? Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's Catherine Zeta-Jones admitted she is bipolar half the time, she's deliriously happy, and the other time she has to suck an old man's cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's dirty. Come on, man. Do you know what Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player? Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player? No, I don't know. They both love fingering minors. Now, okay. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Percy is your dad? Yeah. I didn't I'd, remember that. I'd never heard anyone else's wow. name, Percy. Any remember person when you came and visited life. the set of uh, Andy of uh, Man on the Moon? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and, I was also in the film. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I like to put it. <laughs> I've noticed that Hotel Rwanda has a great score on Rotten Tomatoes, but their Yelp reviews are terrible. <laughs> A new report from the CDC states that only one-third of Americans use condoms, while two-thirds of Americans are still pretty cool. Get out! <laughs> Why do you get a good one? That, that, was, was, that was good. One of the most popular documentaries on Netflix is Jiro... Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Jiro Dreams of Sushi. I've seen that. It's very good. That's you a have? fantastic yeah. documentary. One of the least popular documentaries, Jiro... <laughs> Zero nightmares of aspirin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I had. <laughs> now, listen, my girlfriend's mad at me right now. Last night when we were having sex, I yelled the name of her ex boyfriend. Nice fellow. <laughs> the Blue Man Group has been forced by the federal government to hire an orange man and a purple woman. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. <laughs> You know, they had a big black mass uh, devil worship this week, apparently. But I skipped it because I believe you can be just as close to Satan on a golf course as in some stuffy old satanic church. <laughs> this guy's a real jerk. <laughs>
I feel the same way about slaves as I do about shirts with flame patterns on them. I don't want to be friends with anyone who owns either of them. <laughs> Another funny and true one. I found the secret to life is there is no problem that a huge... <laughs> no, I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough. That a huge, <laughs> that, a, that a huge, that a huge what? <laughs> now I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. Yes, oh great one. Yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Didn't expect that at all. Didn't expect that with these. Didn't see that. Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle's ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? That's actually. <laughs> All right, a Las Vegas woman was arrested after hiding a stolen Rolex in her vagina. Well, now Bruce Jenner's just gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> The guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why do dogs always race to the door when, you, uh, when the doorbell rings? It's almost never for them. The Al-Qaeda online magazine Inspire has a recipe for a homemade bomb. They also have a recipe for a pretty darn good peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not all bad, you That's know? Not all bad. I'm going to read the blurbs. Okay. This is from Jeff Garland, actor slash comedian. Is he a comedian? Yeah, he's he does stand-up. He, he would know. You, you manage the comedy That's store. That's right. Yeah, he's so there he, a lot. You go to yeah. him. He tells you. Freddie Stoller, he says, is smart and handsome. He's saying that in like, a, hey, you're really. handsome. He's not really thinking I'm handsome. It's he's basically more, calling you ugly. Yes, he's more like, hey, handsome man. He does this thing where you say As a matter of fact, the handsomeness gets in the way of the smart and funny. He keeps calling you ugly. <laughs> While reading this book, I couldn't help but think of Freddie's good looks. This is, this is drenched in irony. He's calling yeah. you ugly three times. <laughs> so that's not much. No. Oh, I think you'll like this one. I, I'm giving Tom the best ones. That is your move, by the way. Thank you. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was ahead of his time. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I don't know if this counts as an NCAA Cinderella story, but one of the Marquette players said he had help making his uniform from a bunch of singing mice and birds. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funniest part of doing an office conga line? <laughs> when you look back and realize you're doing it alone and you're not in an office, you're in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> a Swedish Bond girl, Britt Eklund, told Piers Morgan this week, that she was seduced by Warren Beatty after the legendary Lothario took her to an X-rated movie for their first date. This is what I have to say about that. Hey, Warren, stop stealing my moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite this week. Unbelievable. But there's, uh, there's one piece here I thought you might find interesting. It's uh, Joan Rivers. You were talking about some, uh, some old uh, Joan Rivers. She's old. She's she, uh, old, but she's great. Just kidding. Still great. Yeah, yeah, still great. But she, uh, she makes her living, you know, lambasting uh, celebrities. What did she do? She, uh... Lamb what? You know, basting. Lambasting? Basting, yeah. Uh, celebrities, and... Uh, we might want to put a hard uh, thing over the A... Yeah, I apologize. Uh, I'm right. trying to rush through this. We don't have a lot, and I uh, all right. We'll, um, we'll spell it all phonetically yeah, from yeah. now. On. I did that with uh, with one of the guys' names. Here. Okay, we'll get to it. She uh, she lambasted uh, the uh, Adele. I love the Adele. British you ever pop heard Adele? singer Adele. I uh, heard it for a night. Voice like a like a great pipes. She has great pipes. 
And lungs too. Oh, yes. she's a good singer. Yes, <laughs> and lungs too. And Rivers. Lungs um, too. Would only she... work if she was a pipe smoker. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyway, right Joan Rivers, uh, she called Adele, who's 24 years old, uh, chubby while visiting David Letterman on The Late Show. Oh. And wisecracked. Uh, she sang live and said, My throat, my throat, I don't know if I can swallow. And I said, Oh, you can swallow. Who the fuck is Albert Fish? What? Who the fuck is Albert Fish? Oh, Albert Fish? I've never heard of that guy. He was known as the Gray Man. The Grain Man? The Grey oh, Man. Grain. The The Werewolf of Wisteria. I, um... You know why he was known as the Grey Man? Because when they... He was a serial killer. He, uh -huh. ki he killed... He, he slayed children and ate them. He was a cannibal. Uh-huh. But when they... The police asked a, a woman to describe him, and she said he was grey in both appearances and demeanor. Very bad mm. description. This is like Arsenio when it was ooh. Yeah, ooh. I, no. But anyway, I'm pretending I know who Albert Gray is. I didn't. No, no, Albert Fish. Oh. You're a New Yorker. So, anyways, he was a child rapist and cannibal, as I explained. When he teaches a child Jesus rapist, you try Christ. not to laugh when he looks at you. Oh, it's come so on, good. man. <laughs> it's not funny. I know it's not. But I know, you, but I know you want people to laugh. When but you say, well, Fish whatever. boasted that he had children in every state. Now, I would not boast about that. I don't think you would. I don't think, I don't think you'd do it, but if you did do it, you certainly wouldn't boast about not it. You, all, you'd keep the, take that to the grave with you. But he boasted. Well, they Anyways, say they eventually so, all sing like a canary. They, they do say that? About murder is right. Yeah, they, yeah. Right. they, they, they want, brag to a friend. Be caught, right. yeah. When Norm brag... Oh, sh sorry. But Fish, this is interesting, Fish chose his victims. He only chose victims who were either mentally handicapped now, don't laugh at this next part, please. You know he wants you to, right? No. If you laugh at this next part. Okay. And I'm not Fish chose victims who were either mentally handicapped or African-American. Oh, come on. Why would you think that's funny? God damn, Fred. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was the worst part of the story. Okay. But why do you think he did that? What would be the explanation? Why would he only attack? Why, why would his victims that he chose only be either mentally handicapped or African Americans? Because people don't, in those days, didn't care when those people were vanished. That's, that's you're right. thinking like right. Albert Fish now. <laughs> and prostitutes. That's why they. That's right. Prostitutes. Exactly. That's Nobody probably. really cares no. about prostitutes. Well, it's like that, that comedian that would rape people at comedy clubs, oh, no, in colleges. Yes, Vince Champ. They always said. His, his great gimmick was that people would think who did it, and they never, because he'd go on to another town that, and another college, but yeah. when people say, what about the comic? Yeah. Mm. Maybe the worst gimmick a comic ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but you were exactly right. That's why Albert Fish killed only mentally handicapped <laughs> and <laughs> African Americans. What about, okay. I thought you'd laugh at African Americans again that they were. <laughs> no, because I, I know him. I know he'll do something. That's that's outrageous. How well, it's kind of outrageous for you. But anyways, uh, Fish tortured, mutilated, and murdered the youngsters. They were children, with a meat cleaver, a butcher knife, and a small handsaw. Hey, Jesus! God, you. This is the topical portion. Okay. Yeah. So the birthdays. And then he solidified his reputation as the most vicious child slayer in criminal history. Oh, Though you know barely was... literate, Fish wrote taunting letters to the parents of his victims, gruesomely detailing Jesus. how he slayed, butchered, cooked, and then with great enjoyment dined on their offspring. He would inevitably declare that a child's roasted rump was the most toothsome dish in all of gastronomy. Gastronomy. Additionally, I, Fish was a, a masochist. Get this. And he would insert wool doused with lighter fluid into his own anus and set it alight for his own enjoyment. Fish was finally arrested, and he immediately began confessing to killing 700 children. Get out of here. Yes. And he was, he was dizzyingly happy about it. Smiled as he described the grisly details of the tortures and the murders, appearing to the detectives. And one of the detectives said he appeared as the devil himself. I mean, uh, this Albert, the, I mean, this guy was a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> now I know there was no Albert Fish. Because uh, I would have heard about that. Uh, <laughs> 700. Some gold plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> well, this Are was, you serious? Well, this was written. Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it, yes. Do you know the Harlem, the Harlem Shake? Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single You've commercial. You've seen it, then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back, black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. <laughs> hey, how about this? The Dalai Lama said that killing in the name of religion is unthinkable. Hey, thanks, Dalai Lama. I'm sure everybody will fucking listen to you. No one listens to the Dalai Lama. No, no one. <laughs> Researchers in uh, Bermuda believe they may have uh, finally solved part of the mystery surrounding Amelia Earhart's disappearance. She was a bad pilot. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It's not my fault. Bermuda. She didn't go down anywhere near Bermuda. Remember the good old days back when MILF stood for mentally ill ladies I'd like to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you have a writing staff? <laughs> oh, yeah. You do? We have Steve O'Donnell. Steve, these are really good. Um, do you have a dog? Do I have a dog? Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Nature abhors a vacuum. I think that was Newton. Nature abhors a vacuum. But so does my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a dog. His girlfriend, he had a, what do you call that list? Oh, the, uh, if yeah, you can, you can a freebie or whatever. Freebie. Ah. Yeah. So he picked Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston. His girlfriend picked the milkman. <laughs> I had an uncle, mean guy. He was a prize fighter. He once broke both his hands in a fight against a washer dryer that he got on the Price is Right. <laughs> what? Why right. the Price is Right? He was a prize fighter and he won it on the Price is Right. <laughs> prize he won the prize. A prize fighter. Yeah, and he won the prize and then oh, he, beat, he had a fight against it, but he was washer dryer. God damn, there's more to Let me explain why that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, will you read one? Okay. Researchers have discovered that the cockroaches have personalities. Huh. Not great ones, not great ones, mind you. Oh, well, not good ones, yeah, that makes how sense. How do you know? Uh, well, <laughs> hey, why is taking no pleasure in things I used to enjoy a sign of depression? Maybe I'm just finally sick of crayon. Say it again? I don't know, it's a long joke. This is what you never hear. Uh, he made love to me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> So a woman from Denmark I met at a party was telling me how awful she thinks Trump is. So I shot back, yeah, well, you guys have that asshole Hans Christian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's just my uh, patriotism. The Al-Qaeda online magazine Inspire has a recipe for a homemade bomb. They also have a recipe for a pretty darn good peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not all bad, you That's know? Not all. A surname you don't hear much anymore. Flintstone. <laughs> this is an These actual joke. Norm jokes. This is an actual joke. It's kind of a weird feeling watching the Flintstones lately. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, watching the Flintstones. Sure. Yeah, now, yeah. How so? With their Stone yeah. Age driving movies and yeah. their caveman bowling, it just seems so dated. It does in a way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a Las Vegas woman was arrested after hiding a stolen Rolex in her vagina. Well, now Bruce Jenner's just gone too far. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you know, I may have told you this, but my doctor's getting very rude. The last time I went to him, he said, open your mouth and say oink. I remember, uh, uh, you know, sometimes they get so PC about these things. That movie, The Last of the Mohicans, uh -huh. and they had a big protest. Apparently, they weren't using any actual Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs> what about, read that one, uh, read that uh, one. Uh, Sherry Shepard is worried her ex-husband will release new photos of her. So am I. I'm not worried. <laughs> Sherry Shepard is fine. She's a fine door. woman. I don't know who Fine, who, sexy, yeah, I don't know who devilish, ravaged black woman that I live. Yeah, you like that?
I need me to ski, baby. Uh, the guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. <laughs> Hey, why do dogs always race to the door when you uh, when the doorbell rings? It's almost never for them. <laughs> Here's one for you. Here, artifacts from Auschwitz are set to go on tour wow. for the first time. You guys won't stop. Experts believe that this will be Miley Cyrus's darkest opening act yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know the Bible says not to covet thy neighbor's wife. Right. But it doesn't say a damn thing about coveting thy neighbor's husband, especially a sweet, hot fucking asshole. <laughs> this is sweet, hot. Is that in there?